Can you introduce the new diary? No. Say just say welcome. Welcome. Jock has an obsession with standing up, so he always wants to record them. But he's a pain in the ass. Welcome to the new diary entry. Come on. Oh. Where is it? I don't know. Can't find it. Ready? Two, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> oh, sniff up that poo. Mm -mm -mm. It just waits. Yeah, well, that's true. Right, here's the thing that we're going to try. We're going back to our weekly. Now we're back in supermarkets and we're going for this wee tofu dessert. That's the price. Oh, I think it's $1.68. Oh, well. So yeah, we'll be having that for the dessert tonight. We're going on a bit of a clean binge. We're just going to eat stir fries, mostly vegetarian, and rice crackers for the next wee bit. Bro groups of two, dollar 18 each. We might as well get them as well. There's my tofu <laughs> dessert. Let's try it on camera for the first time. As I surf across what looks like an endless desert, it's I can't help but think about how the planet is changing. Farmable land all over the globe it? is decreasing. I'm gonna get the flavor <laughs> out of it. Like <laughs> <taste Trump>. <laughs> There's not much taste, so I'm gonna add a bit of the good maple <laughs> syrup to it.
video diary. We are in Squamish. Now, first things first. Squamish is amazing. It's pretty cool. Second, our water pump's on the out. So I'm going to try and fix that today. It's uh, not pumping, so to speak. It's working, but there's no flow. Uh, thirdly, we've got to extend our visa, which is an absolute fucking bitch. Our visa runs out on 4th of September, and we decided to come home in November now, so we're going to try and extend our visa for another three months, and I'll tell you what, we've been on the computer today. What an absolute fucking debacle. Oh. Oh. I can see why people pick up computers and throw them at the window. Yeah, there's a few uh, a few integration uh, problems we need to overcome, but we'll we'll get it sorted. That's no problem. We always fix the problems. That's what we do here. But yeah, we're just chilling. Um, we're actually parked just down here. I'm going to show you. Check out that base. That's a nice little rig. That's not bad. There's some bloody nice rigs here, Squamish. I tell you what, it's a pretty wealthy sort of a place it's about 40 kilometers before Whistler and about 40 kilometers from Vancouver and it's got epic views of the mountain which I'll put now and yeah what else can you say we've only been here a day so I think there's some great mountain biking but we got to do our visas so we haven't got onto the mountain bike tracks yet but I'm gonna go do that might, might be Monday before I hit them but yeah, we just sort of parked up on this little car park here. Look at all these other sick little vans. I've got a classic Ford Econo line there, I believe. With a, ooh, got a wee awning out the side. That's my favourite. That wee Toyota Vintage. Then you got its big brother there. Old Ford. And what do you got here? Is that a Dodge Ram, Mercedes Sprinter? Same, same. But different. Then we got this bad boy, which is another Ford Econoline. <laughs> and then we got the Queen, baby. The Prince. Queen. And then we got another Ford Econoline right by its side, so. Looking pretty good. But yeah, our exhaust manifold, one of our exhaust manifold bolts has snapped, so it sounds like a tractor again. And our water pump's on the blink, so. A couple of things to do tonight. Here's the way, Laura. Have you got anything to say, Laura? Nope. Nope. How's your trip going so far? Good. Good. What's your plans for the next three months? Uh, travel around BC. BC. And Alberta. Oh, yeah, we're going to Alberta. I'm going to get some fuel. Some cheap fuel. 60 cents a litre. I'm going to buy a boat. Send it's it be, back. It's not going to be that cheap anymore. Might be. Nope. And you go, girl. Yeah, so that's what we're up to. We're just chilling. Um, uh, reached out to one of my mates that I used to play rugby for for the Christchurch Massive back in those days when I played for Christchurch Club. Um, James Fahey. So we're going to go catch up with my beer. He's in Whistler. I don't really know what we've got planned. A couple of hikes. A couple of fishing, maybe. Kind of gone off the fishing now. After my big crab catching episode, um, we got here that water pump. Oh, dusty! And here's the flow. Oh, starts out good. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're out of water too, by the way. Um, what else gonna say? See, it's not it's not pressurising. We're out of water. All right, I'll stop rapping. I gotta do some shit. <laughs> Fun go. That has to last you a, at least a month. <laughs> a month? That's gonna last me fucking week. No, that. A no. kilo. How much was that? Eight dollars. Eight dollars for a kilo of peanut butter. Right. Well, it I has mean. To last you. How the fuck do they make a kilo of peanut butter for eight dollars? That's what I'm, I'm wondering. You're getting their peanuts out of bloody child labour or something. That's just that's great stuff. A bit of coconut milk, and that's all I bought today. Oh, there you go. Well, they chocolate. Mm. Well, here's our water tank. 
There's our water pump. I found the problem. It was uh, our wee inlet pipe here. Well, outlet pipe, if you want to call it, if you will. To our water pump. And then our water pump obviously supplies our copper lines here. But what had happened is this tank's not fixed and secured very well. Because old mate, he said he put a new water tank in, but he didn't really secure it too well. Whole tank slid back that way, squashed the pipe, so I'll just chuck a wee block of water in there. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you fucking fix shit, man. So that's an easy fix. Happy days. Tiny house living. Laura's even doing a bit of fixing up a few of our curtains because uh, before we come home, we're going to have to fix these, ooh, shit, fix these curtains up. Yeah. Hey Laura, what are you up to? What are we yeah, doing today? Oh, no, what are we doing today? Jock's taking us on an adventure. We're going on a hike. We're a bit late. The gas bottle ran out, so I had to go get the gas bottle filled. Now our soul is a bit flat because uh, we haven't had any sun last night. And uh, when you go to boil the jug in the morning, if I, I boiled it up twice last night, so it drained the battery. So that's all right. We're charging up. Our battery's on 92%, but you can't really look at that. I need to clean my solar panels. I'm only getting 2.48 amps and 63 volts coming in, though. So they're still producing. But I think if I clean them, they'll be a bit more efficient. So I'm cooking my hot water up on this. Yeah. I'm going to go on a hike. I'm still in Squamish. I'm sorting out a visa. Fuck Went for a bike ride yesterday. It's a pretty sick town. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep saying it on this video. It's a lovely town. Lovely, lovely, lovely town. <sighs> See you at the top of the mountain. Hands down, the best, best craft beer in Canada I've found so far. I think this is the one. I've only had it out of the bottle, but it's a Steamworks Tropical Tart Ale. I'm praying it's the right one. We're gonna find out. <laughs> We're just uh, downtown of Squamish here. Haven't done much of a video about Squamish, but uh, here's Laura. We're in here, we're doing our, it's our last day in Squamish. Man, the weather's been absolutely delicious lately. Just hot weather, a wee bit of breeze, almost unbearably hot, really, for us uh, Kiwi folk. A wee food truck there, the Japanesey. Yeah, here's a wee look at the downtown. We've got to finish our uh, visa up today, but first of all, we need to find a printer. A good printer so we can uh, print up the document, sign it, and then uh, upload it, and then send it away. A couple of other little happy bits, so. We're getting it done. Hey, Laura. Yeah, we had a break. We would have started this in the back too, but it's a few more. Laura always worries about everything. Don't worry about it, mate. She'll be right. Full, full downtown walk here. I'm actually heading to the toilet because I need to get to the toilet now. Here we go, we got the Squamish Native Park. Story coming up. What's wrong? I don't walk up in there.
So yeah, classic little town. It's sort of like a, well, in terms of adventure and things to do, it's like a Queenstown, if you're going to compare it to any town in New Zealand. It's got a shitload of mountain bike tracks. I bet there's heaps of skiing and snowboarding close by. There's windsurfing, there's kite surfing, there's fucking everything imaginable. It's got water, it's got yachts, it's got boats. Yeah, it's a cool town, set up for people who like doing that style of stuff. So yeah. Anyway. Oh, and it's got heaps of breweries and pubs and restaurants and cafes. I swear it's got 10 cafes. Heaps of apartment buildings and hotels. There's apartments everywhere. Went for a wee snack at that place the other night and we checked out the, you know, some brewery down the other end of the street house. Or something. So it was pretty sick. And yeah, it's just a cool little town. Um, definitely worth coming to. You could, if you're in the ski season, I reckon this would be a great spot. And in the summer, it's even more. Probably minted because there's probably more things to do here in the summer. But yeah, that's pretty much the downtown. Cool mountains in the background, look at rock face. Ridic ridiculous amount of hikes and that sort of stuff. If you're into that sort of stuff, it's. She's all go here. Alright, gotta go. Gotta get to this toilet. The old Squamish plots. 60 bucks a year for an annual plot. And not too bad, they're pretty decent size. Which one? This one. Yeah, this one's delish. We're gonna give the people a wee look here. What do we got? We got a couple of, what's that? Silver beet? I don't even know what the hell that is. Maybe that's radishes? Something. This is a good wee plot. Couple of flowers, wildflowers, couple of leeks, couple of tomatoes. Get your plots in, guys, because, uh, well, sunflowers. I'm going to be growing some of them this uh, summer. Fuck yeah, I'm going to be going hundies on the sunflowers. And the corn and everything. I want to get them sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. This summer. Make myself a few kilos of pumpkin seeds and a few kilos of uh, sunflower seeds for the uh, winter ahead for me porridges. Ape apple. I'm back on the film, bitches! Cause we rolling bitches. Here's the other side to the plot. All right, guys. Just left Squamish. Filled up the fuel. Filled out the water. And we're heading to Whistler, baby. Yeah. 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 Submitted her application. Now she's gonna do mine. No, I don't. Yeah, I can use computers. I'm a simple person. We're in Whistler, though, Papa. I don't know, how many days later? When did we start this? The 30th, 31st? About six days later. What an absolute pig of an application. It's harder than trying to kill your great granddad, fry a euthanasia. It's just a bloody rigmarole. It's not very nice. Here's Mr. Millie's. 
We snowbird. Where are you off to? Where are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? We're going out for dinner. Out for dinner? Downtown Whistler. Downtown Whistler? Cool. And the rules are... Oh no. So the meals are five ninety five each, plus tax, plus tip. That was tips, man. Yeah. The drinks are more expensive than food. More are they? Of course they are. The drinks are the most expensive thing. We're about the thing. same. We're about, about the same. Yeah, I might just go for a... I was even thinking of maybe even getting like a coffee. Okay. Just because I don't really want to drink a Coke anyway, but I don't want... soda water? Soda water? Yeah, nah. So yeah, we're doing that. We're heading down there, have some dinner and all that sort of jazz. And then we might get some ice cream afterwards. I've been mountain biking for a few hours. Laura's been running. We've just been chilling today. The wheel is a bit average, as you can see. Um, nice little camper there. It's been pretty amazing lately. It's the first bit of rain we've had in probably, what, weeks? A couple of weeks. Three, two, two or three weeks. Since Victoria, really. Maybe before then. Yeah. It just hasn't been raining. So, first bit of rain in a while. Yeah. So, anyway. Looking forward to this meal, actually. There's Whistler, part of Whistler in the background. We are today. We're a bit late starting. It's 9.30. We're supposed to be up at 6, but I didn't set the alarm, so whoopsies. Um, today we are doing, we're climbing Mount Whistler, I think. I think it's Mount Whistler. Um, yeah, so it's a five-hour hike. It's rated as, the difficulty is rated as hard on All Trails app. Uh, we got the camera out. We're running the Sony A6000. We got the 35 millimeter lens to 50 and we're running the 200 millimeter lens as backup just in case we see a bit of wildlife zoom in on that bitch and hopefully when I come across three and a half thousand dollars buried in a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow I'm gonna buy myself a big big fuck off telephoto lens so telescopic lens so look forward to that I'm gonna be chasing some wildlife in uh, New Zealand when that happens well Laura bringing up the rear yeah, so, woo. What? What'd you say? I should have an electrolyte thing when we get What electrolyte things? To put all the minerals back Where do in we have any? Yeah. Oh, okay, so what do we got? Those things we got, Oh, you in the health kit, yeah. We're basically at the top of, I think it's Whistler Mountain, I'm not sure. <laughs> got a couple of Gandhis. Laura's feeling it. I've tricked her apparently, I told her it was a smaller height than what it was. And we're building our hiking up. We're getting there. We're getting better. We walk 6k straight up hill. Straight up hill, because there's no whistling flats. way down there. Hey, that's all good. Check out this wee dude. Hey, mate. Bloody cars boosting around up here. Can't be that bloody mountainous. Woo, yeah. Whistler. I said it again, and I'll say it again. I said it before, and I will say it again. This place is pretty cool. I'd love to do a season here, but I heard it's fucking way too busy, so I probably wouldn't want to love it. Look at that. Alright, well let's get up to this 
gondola thing at least anyway. My gluteus maximus has got a little twink in it. All right, we have made it to the top of this trail. Looks like you can go a bit further up on the same mountain, but uh, I'm not gonna, I've got to. Laura's just taking a rest back down there. I just decided to do this little bit extra to try and get a few more photos with the Sony. Um, hit me up in the comments. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, it's beautiful up here. Right? I think this is Mount Whistler. I'm not sure. Maybe it's Mount Blackcomb or something. I'll have to look that up. I'll drop that right there. Yeah, buzzy. Buzzy, buzzy. It's the first big hike we've done in a while. We sort of haven't really been getting around the hikes that much. We've been doing little ones, like a few K, but this is probably this is about a 14 K, a bit, a bit less maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm not sure about much at the moment. Ooh. Woo! Thanks for watching the episode, guys. Um, I'll be trying to bring you some more quality content. And if it's not quality, I'm lucky. I don't give a shit. So, yeah, cheers for watching who is. Um, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell people about me, what I'm up to. i got three more months of videos in Canada to make. And then I'm going to have quarantine videos to make. And then I'm going to be traveling New Zealand. So, the South Island and the North Island this summer. Getting around a bit of mountain biking downhill. Probably a bit of a golf, a bit of everything really. Fishing, hunting, hiking, getting a Land Rover going, building Land Rovers, who knows? What the hell is this thing?